Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today I ordered a omelet pan from Amazon and uh, it came with some other things in the box, but I'll kind of show you, we'll do a quick unboxing here of the way that they packaged it up. And then later on, I'm going to uh, test it out and uh, provide some feedback on that. Inside the box, it came with uh, some other stuff that I also ordered. The pan itself it just came wrapped in a bag. And this one's really kind of made uh, for omelets. Um, it's a seven inch frying pan. It's actually got a ceramic coating, which I've never used before. Um, so that's part of what I'll be testing out. Um, it comes with, let's see here, this says, oh, this is just telling you that the, the handle stays cool when you use it. And we'll just pop this off. And then it's got some quick tips. Use oil or butter, low to medium heat, let your pan come to room temperature and hand wash with warm soapy water. So I will, uh, I'll get this cleaned up. I'm gonna wash it before I use it, of course, and then um, I'm gonna make an omelet. All right, here it is, uh, completely unwrapped and cleaned up. Again, this is the original green pan, seven inch fry pan. Uh, it is a ceramic uh, non-stick and we are now going to make an omelet. All right, for this omelet, we're going to do um, peppers and onions, ham, cheese. I'm just going to use uh, regular vegetable oil. Uh, for the egg, I'm doing egg beaters. You can certainly um, use one or two eggs and scramble those up. Same type of result. So getting started here. I'm going to go with a medium heat. Just do really enough oil to kind of partially coat the bottom of the pan. And we'll put in all the ingredients. Spread things out a little bit so it's all in contact with the pan as much as possible. All right, we're getting the onions and peppers cooked down, getting a little bit of a sear on the ham. So we can go ahead and add the egg. What I like to do is just kind of get things covered a little bit here. And then as that egg cooks, I want to just keep pulling things away from the edges and get as much contact with the pan as 
possible to get everything to solidify. Um, you want to make sure all of this liquid is um, cooked up as much as you can. You want the top to be as dry as possible. So then you got to flip it, um, otherwise it will be messier. You can see this is nice and not sticking at all. Um, you know, obviously combination of the pan, but then also the oil helps keep it from sticking. I think things are pretty good now, so we'll go ahead and try and flip this and see what happens. All right, that's pretty good. Um, got some nice texture here on the bottom. Let's push on it just a tiny bit. Make sure we get that nice and done inside. This part goes pretty quick. At this point, I'm actually going to turn off the heat. We'll get this flipped back over. We're going to top it with a little bit of shredded cheddar. Not too much. Let that sit for just a moment. And then from a plating perspective, again, nice and loose. We're just going to put this in here. We're going to fold it over. Use the edge of the pan there to just kind of pat it down. And there we have it. Ham, cheese, onion, pepper, omelet on the green pan. Um, at this point, we can look at cleanup. Um, we got a little bit of egg there on the edge, but that came up really easily. We've got the leftover oil. Um, this is the part where I kind of pushed up against the, uh, the omelet as I was folding it over, but as you can see, that cleans up very easily and on to uh, make the next one. Finish this up with just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt and that's it. Thanks for watching everybody. This was a, uh, it's a good pan and uh, I think everything worked out really well. Thank you. If you're interested in one of these, the uh, link will be in the description below. Mm. We'll see how well this one flips.